The first thing I do is lay down this 3M green masking tape. And I'm using green masking tape because it curves easier. It also sticks better. I really don't like the 3M yellow tape at all. It's backing is too thick and it doesn't stick near as well as the green. And it doesn't curve easy like this. I'm setting the green masking tape about half of a, well, about an eighth of an inch away from the stripe so that I have room to lay the fine line tape on afterwards. We're going to put plastic over the car and cut it out to where it will tape to this green tape. That way, after I spray the primer and it dries, I can take the fine line tape off and leave this green tape intact, sand the primer, and then remask the stripe and spray it. So, without having to take the green tape that I'm putting on now and the plastic off, it will remain after pulling the fine line tape off. And then we sand the primer and then retape it up with the green fine line tape before spraying the actual final color. I'm leaving a tiny sliver of the white showing at the edge of the original stripe so that we're getting a positive coverage of the primer over the original stripe. The waterborne primer will seal out the new paint from this old paint so that there'll be no lifting going on. That's the purpose of waterborne primer is to form a barrier coat to keep the new and old paint separated. Now I'm putting the fine line tape on that I will be pulling off and then sanding the the uh, primer and then I'll retape fine line around the edge of the stripe without having to pull off all the plastic and stuff and then paint the stripe on again before we do uh, a flow coat over the whole thing. Now that flow coat, that's some kind of YouTube terminology because I always just said we're going to re-clear the car. Any painter that's ever painted very much knows that the second time you paint a car over the first paint job always turns out much smoother and better because you're not painting over primer and sealer and all that. You're painting over smooth paint. Another thing you don't want to do with fine line tape is uh, miss your edge and go above what you're taping where when you pull the fine line off you had covered up some primer or something like that because that doesn't look good either. There was a time when I didn't need a bright light like this and I just zipped through this job, but those days are gone. I'm just happy that I can still do it. Now it's 50 something degrees today, so this waterborne primer takes a lot of flash time, like 20 minutes in between coats. This is the second coat that I'm putting on. It's gonna be cold and rainy for a few days, so we'll be letting this dry for those few days. So please touch my like thingy and subscribe, damn it!